is LBS Honey. I currently can't find my mascot for some reason, so I'm using this little husky instead. I hope you guys don't mind. But today I am kind of continuing on with some unboxings related to old G2 LPS. If y'all watched my recent video, you would have seen I mentioned AliExpress sellers recently just like mass listing old G2 LPS. It has been insane. I have been loving it, but it's also been kind of challenging to get LPS because they've been selling out so quickly since and slightly before that video was posted. Things like three packs and two packs have been pretty easy to get a hold of, but larger sets have been selling really quickly and I was super incredibly lucky to be able to get some of these larger sets and uh, one of them I'm going to be opening today. This is probably a terrible angle and I apologize but ta-da! It is the Littlest Pet Shop Mall and bro like what do I even say? This is a Toys R Us exclusive that I found on AliExpress. The seller was only selling one of these and I was so incredibly lucky to get it when I did. It cost me about 30 Australian dollars, so about 25 US. I actually am not sure what all the LPS in here look like. I know there is a short head cat which I'm very excited to get. But what I'm more excited about is actually being able to keep the box nice and actually open it. Like, it's a reusable box, it's meant to be opened and kept that way. So I'm so, so excited to be opening this up and I hope you guys will enjoy kind of like unwrapping it with me, huh? <laughs> Once again, I'll leave the seller's link in the description down below. They are a different AliExpress seller to the one I mentioned beforehand. This one sells more like limited listings, maybe one or two of each instead of mass selling them. So if you want to buy from them, definitely get something straight away when you see it because it will most definitely sell out fast just like this little guy did. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to mention. A couple of you guys have brought up a few issues about AliExpress in the comments of my last video. A few of you guys have been saying that they're not exactly the best website to be supporting. I shouldn't really be promoting the sellers, etc. And while I'm not actively like promoting them saying, yo, buy from this seller right now, like spend your money here. I am just showing you guys where I have gotten my LPS because I'm personally excited about this. I don't know how the sellers have gotten a hold of these LPS. I don't know like how ethical each seller is. So I'm not here to tell you what not to do and what to do in regards to the sellers. I am also just at the end of the day a customer like you guys buying from these sellers. So please just be aware that I am not endorsing these sellers. I'm just letting you guys know where I get my products from and like showing you guys unboxings of LPS that I enjoy. I'm sure you guys can do your own research and base your own opinions on the website and sellers as a whole. But I just wanted to quickly clear that up. I'm not here to like take a stance against websites here, there and everywhere. I'm just letting you know my experience and showing you the LPS I got. So without further ado, let's get on to the actual set and opening it up and seeing what the LPS are like. So as you can see, it says Toys R Us exclusive, which is pretty crazy to me because it's like, bro, what? Toys R Us don't even exist like as a physical store anymore, at least in Australia. And from what I understand, this is like LPS without their magnets, of course. It is a fully openable like set. You can like display your LPS in there, which I love so much. And that's probably what I'm going to be using this for, mainly display purposes. I mean, maybe I could get like a set background out of this, but because it has so many windows, I really want to use it for displaying. Like literally every other AliExpress package of LPS, all the pets have gone flat flying everywhere because of the elastic bands degrading, but that doesn't concern me because they should be fine as they just kind of rumbled around in some cardboard. Back, it does give you a look at the LPS, but I've never seen most of these pets in person. Um, I have seen this snake in person and I believe this octopus as well, but other than that, all of the other pets are completely new to me. So I'm very excited to see what they look like, especially this short haired cat. I'm not just saying that because like oh it's a big five lbs i'm genuinely like excited to see what it looks like because there's so many fake versions of this short hair cat i've never even seen a real one this does have a plastic film over it so i'm quickly going to remove that and then we'll open it all up and hopefully be able to keep the box in the best condition that we can so that kind of looks like mold 
Uh, yeah, this is another thing I forgot to bring up in my last AliExpress package video. Because a lot of the plastics deteriorate over time, quite a few of these packages may not be in the best condition uh, health-wise. Things like specks of dust and dirt are expected. I mean, it's been sitting in a warehouse, come on now. But stuff like mold, rust, sticky residue, everything like that can be a bit of a uh, health caution. So when you're unboxing these LPS, make sure to always just wash your hands before and after. Make sure to disinfect the LPS and the packages themselves if you are planning on keeping the packages, that is. And just make sure you like dispose of everything when you're done just to keep everything as clean and healthy as possible I don't want y'all getting sick okay so I had to cut this little strap off the front and also some pieces of tape but I should be able to open everything up now so excited to be finally opening one of these I know that there's another version with a Great Dane oh wait it's velcroed together that's actually really cool Ooh. Oh my god, it's uh, it's a real carnage in here right now. There's just there's a lot going on. There's a lot of dirt. The pets actually look pretty dirty in this package. I don't know if it's because they weren't completely sealed like normal, so a lot of dust and dirt got in. I'm just gonna quickly like clean everything because it's a bit uh, grotty in here. Like, can y'all see the dirt on her? She definitely needs a bit of a clean, but looking pretty good so far okay after a million years i have finally cleaned up all the lps so i'm gonna show you them one by one pretty quickly i won't go into a huge amount of detail because you all already know that they're from a toys r us set as for the accessories off screen i've left them in their places for now where they are just sitting there is just a lot to clean with this set and a lot of really tiny pieces of plastic from the elastic bands so it's going to take me a really long time to get through it all but i will show you them once i show you the lps i just won't be taking them out and cleaning them all in this video so firstly we have this little orange snake also i apologize for my nails this one broke recently <laughs> but i've shown this on my channel before i have this snake but this one is in much better condition obviously new in its packaging so it's a nice little replacement for my damaged one and I guess now I can use my damaged one to make a custom. I feel like the colors in this set are very unique as well. A lot of them are kind of like faded colors so this is a bit of a faded orange and I really like that. Next we have this little off-white mouse. It has a tiny pink circle around its eyes and in the ears. It's pretty cute. I feel like the eye color is very unique as well. It's also pretty faded in the coloring. But it kind of works. It's definitely a unique mouse design. So, yeah. I just have this boxer. At least, I think it's a boxer. It's a pretty standard design, but I do like it. Kind of traditional dog colors. And all of these have cleaned up really, really nicely. Most of them just had dust and dirt on them, which thankfully doesn't stain. So, I was able to get them looking pretty spiffy, if I do say so myself. And there is this green bird. This is actually another one I've shown on my channel before. I think I still have this or I may have sold it. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure mine had green wings where this one has purple. So I don't know if there's two birds that look like this and maybe the other one's just really similar but with green wings. Because I just, I don't remember it ever having purple wings, so... I don't really know, but I do like the colors. There's also this little purple bird, which I've actually seen quite a lot online, so it's nothing really new, but it kind of encapsulates all the colors from this set, purple, mint, and orange. There's just a lot of that happening. And a little bit of blue as well. There's this pastel armadillo, which is probably my second favorite from this set. The colors are just gorgeous, and there really isn't enough armadillo LPS, so I'm always happy to get another. I think they only made like four or five armadillos in total. Hugely, hugely underrated LPS, and I just wish Hasbro could have made more of them before they switched generations. And there's this octopus. This is very similar to another octopus I have that is also purple, but this one is lighter, and I believe the bow is a different color on this one. So I feel like a lot of designs in this pack were kind of reused and just slightly modified, which isn't like any worry to me, but as a collector, it can be kind of annoying to keep track of all the different slight variations in 
colorings and like what sets they come from when a lot of them just look really similar. But I love Octopus LPS and I'd love to do some underwater kind of themed photos with these. I think it'll look really adorable. There's this turtle which has a pretty interesting color scheme and also for some reason they chose to leave the shell the same color as the body which I've never seen Hasbro do before. Like it has little highlighted colors but the actual shell itself just blends straight in with the body which is so weird because I've never ever seen them do that before with a turtle shell so yeah pretty pretty interesting design. We have this fish it's blue and um yeah, I mean, not a lot to say about this guy, I'm sorry. We have a giant ladybug, literally giant. Here it is compared to the snake, like, boy what they feed in you. I don't know why Hasbro made giant ladybugs, because they had, like, original small sized ones which looked perfectly good, and then they made these huge ones for some reason and with a really long neck and it's just, it, it kind of freaks me out, I'm not gonna lie. And why are her eyelashes question marks? We have a lizard, and I love these lizards. They are some of my favorite LPS of all time. I just love the molds. I love all the different shades of green and aqua and blue that they used. So I never have anything bad to say about these little guys. I love him. I love how he has little pink stripes going down the middle. It's just the cutest thing. Oh my god, bro. And then of course, I saved the best for last, the short-haired cat, which was probably the main reason a lot of people bought this set back in the day. And honestly, I don't blame them. The color is beautiful. Hasbro's done a bunch of orange short-haired cats, like a bunch, but this one, I don't know. I just, I like it. I love the dark orange that they use for like the paws, the chest, the head, the green that they use on the eyes. Ah, oh, chef's kiss. I don't know. I just think that this is a very simple but very underrated short hair cat. Like, I feel like it never gets used in LPS videos. And when it does, it's always somebody opening like a bunch of fake LPS and there's a fake one of these. So I don't know if it's hard to find. If it isn't hard to find, I don't know why it's not popular because she deserves it, okay? She is beautiful. I love her. Oh my god. Actual ray of sunshine. Can you tell I really like this LPS? And with our short hair cat, that's all the LPS that came in this pack. It is a 12 pack, so freaking worth it. I love all the pets that I got. And now what I'm going to do is show you guys what the inside looks like. Like I said, I've left all the accessories either where they've fallen or just where they're sitting because there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be cleaned. But I'm gonna like get my camera in down low and give you a bit of a look just so you can see what it looks like inside. Alrighty, we're down in pet view. As you can see, there's a bunch of random LPS behind this pack. But as you can see, it comes with some different accessories like a litter box. I think that's a little scooper, a little clam up here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little pond design as well as some fish and tablet bottle. I don't know. Over here we have a salon with some salon accessories, a little doctor's office, which is so cute. And it actually comes with some band-aid stickers, which I don't know why. I've just always wanted some. So now that I have them actually going to treasure them. Over the sides, just another little display window with a few accessories like a little camera, rope, and bottle. There's a bird outside. I I'm sorry. <laughs> Down here we have a little cake. It looks like there was meant to be more here, but a few things got flung around, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's pieces in other places. Down here we kind of have the main area down the bottom, so here we have a little pamphlet and outdoor window. And then over here we have some cardboard cutouts and then some food accessories, tiny little mouse, etc. See it opened up like this, it really gives you an idea of how big it actually is. And it's just such a great way to display your LPS because there's so many freaking big windows and I love it. But it's very dirty down here, so uh, I'm going to leave them all in the box for now, but just know that they will be cleaned up after I finish recording. So guys, there you have it. The Lilith's Pet Shop Mall Set. I don't know the official name. I'm just calling it a mall set because it's kind of like a big mall inside. But yeah, it's a 12 pack. Um, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I just wanted to do something quick today to kind of follow up on the unboxings I did before. Um, I am going to be doing more unboxings in the future because I have a lot of pets from AliExpress that I have recently received. I'll give you a little sneak peek now.
Wow, look at those LPS. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, I've had some questions recently about Echo and Across the Way. Across the Way uh, is taking a little longer because I actually cleaned up the entire set off my floor, like the whole town that I built. I had to move it. So I apologize. <laughs> I need to rebuild the set and then I can finish some outdoor scenes that I need to film. Um, but I apologize about that. And of course, you guys know that I had some issues with episode 2 and YouTube. So that kind of set me back as well. But you know YouTube, they just really hate the LBS community. <laughs> of course, Echo just takes me forever because that series is the bane of my existence. And I love it and hate it all at once. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate the patience you guys have. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah, just new videos coming soon. I don't want to spoil too much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more content besides just my YouTube videos, I do have a TikTok. It is called Miss Jelly Beanie. Link in the description. And I, of course, always stream on Twitch. I stream twice a week over on Twitch. Um, also, Miss Jelly Beanie. So uh, you guys can check me out over there as well if you want some more content besides LPS. Uh, and also LPS because I post LPS content on TikTok. I don't know. Just if you want more me, <laughs> you can go to those areas. And uh, yeah, thanks to anybody who has. Um, oh, and I also have a Discord as well, which you can find on my Twitch. But that's a whole nother thing. Um, I'm just going to end the video here because I'm rambling too much. I'm just super excited to have opened this package up for you guys. Like I said, sell a link in the description down below. Um, if you want to get anything, they do sell out pretty quickly, this specific seller. And um, yeah, you can just make the judgment for yourself whether or not you want to buy from them. Here's one more look at the adorable short hair cat because she's just my everything right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Do 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 do.